Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're gonna do the cover of the album that we're currently working on. This is the Antique Shop scrapbook album that we're working on and this is the prototype and there's a playlist for this album if you wanna start from the beginning or if you missed a video, I'll have it linked up there and I'll have it linked down below. But we're gonna be doing the cover. So here's the one we're making on video. So um, we're gonna do this. But first, I wanna give you an update. I wanna give you an update on the School Days album. This is the one I'm making off camera. And here is the last page setup that you saw that we did in the uh, antique shop. So this is the inside back cover. And here is what I did in the School Days album. So there's the flip down. So all the pages are the same. They're the three different sizes. And there's two flips and two pockets. So this flips down and then there's the three by four photo mats and there's a little bit of journal spot and a couple embellishments. Then this here is from the random embellishments that's linked in the special collections list for this project for the School Days album. And I did a little cluster of embellishments and then I did a wax seal. I kind of folded the corner down. It kind of reminded me of something I would do in school, like tab the corner. But um, but anyway, so I did a little wax seal there just to give it a little something something. Then this folds down and there is a four by six photo with a little journal spot here and a couple of embellishments. And then there's the insert. I just put regular loose leaf paper on the back here. And then that's just black cardstock with some the gold foil reinforcement. And then the both of the inserts are the same. I did the school pack. I actually put this on upside down, but that's okay. Uh, or wrong side up. <laughs> but there's just loose leaf paper. And then the back is mini check. So the same with the side pocket insert over here. So it's pretty simple. Pretty simple little page setup. But, um, but anyway, so that's what I did off camera. So there's your school day's update. Okay, so I'm going to show you everything I have prepped and ready. And I did make one printing error, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let me, I'll just do one at a time. So out of the Basically Amazing Foundations, I printed the mat for the cover, which is paid on page 49A. I just printed it onto white cardstock. I cut it out. I inked it up. No big deal. But then um, I made, you have to make, you actually have to, um, you have to actually have to make your own mat for the mat. So basically what you need to do is take your mat for the cover, page 49A, take a quarter of an inch off the side and a quarter of an inch off the bottom, and that's your mat for the mat, okay? <laughs> but I did that in black cardstock, so that's ready to go. Then on page 13AC, I needed this piece right here, so I printed it off onto white cardstock. We're not going to be using this piece right now, so I'm going to set it aside. And for this one, we cut off all the tabs and I inked both sides. Then we're also going to be needing page 17BD, so it looks like this. They're going to become flips. So I left one long tab on each one and cut the other three tabs off of each one. I scored, I put tape, inked both sides. That's what we're going to need out of the foundation, I think. Yeah, that's all we need out of the foundations. And then out of the basically amazing graceful de decorative edge add-on, we are going to be using page... 23A, which looks like that. I printed it onto white cardstock right here. And I cut them out and I cut all of the short tabs off and I left the two long tabs. So I scored and inked both sides and put tape on there. And then the mats for those, which are on page 70A, I traced the front two mats out of this paper which looks like that on the back side. So I traced one for each flip. And then the inside, or on the back side, of when you open the flip, I traced 
this paper, whoops, upside down. So this is the music notes paper. This is gonna go on the other side. So that's what I traced out for that. So we're gonna need all the graceful. And then out of the basically amazing, charming decorative edge, I printed page 13A. Scoop this up just a little bit. I printed this plain 13A. So there's that part. And then there's this part. We're not going to be using this part today. So I'm going to put that aside. And then here's the two mats for that that I traced. These were both, this was page 68A that I, that I traced these mats. These were both from the 6x8 paper pad. This one has like a ledger scripty thing on the back. And this one has like a lace thing on the back. So I printed those two out. And do I have another thing? I don't guess so. I guess that was it. That's all I needed out of the charming decorative edge. <coughs> Excuse me. And then out of the basically amazing enchanted decorative edge, I printed, okay, so this piece here, this is page, oops, 13A, so it was actually this piece here. So this is the leftover piece, so we used this piece at another page, but this was the leftover piece. So I took the two short tabs off, and I scored it, inked both sides, and I put tape on the back side because I want the edge to be on the left side and not the right, so the tape is over here. And then I printed and then traced. So I have one mat for the inside of the flap. This is also out of the six by eight paper. And then I have printed a mat. So this is page 60A. Whoops, wait a minute, this, is, this isn't right. 60A, or is it six, 61A? Wait a minute, something's not right, hang on. Oh, <laughs> whoops. I printed the mat out for this page. It's the same page, it's just flipped where the shorter, the bigger page is up here and the smaller page is down here. It's the same page. But what I did was I printed the shades of color one, number one. Um, I'm sorry, I printed from the shades of color two, I printed page number one, which is like a greenish color. And so I printed this uh, mirror image. So instead of it printing off like this, I printed it over top. I printed it mirror image, so I think it ended up going something like this or like this. I forget. There we go, where it flipped it. And I used the rose background design because the background design <laughs> because I wanted this to be on the front. So one of the mistakes I made, this is one of them, was that I couldn't find the paper that I used in my prototype, so I guess I cut something wrong because I had to, this wasn't what I did on the prototype. But I think this will be a suitable, suitable replacement. So, anywho, so I printed page 61A on a mirror image. So I'm not gonna be using this part, but I am gonna be using this part. So I've cut that out, inked it up, and then here was the other mistake that I made. Okay. So I printed page 37A out of the Enchanted Decorative Edge with the grungy wood background design. I completely forgot we're not using the grungy wood background design on the decorative edges. It's, we're only using the roses background design. So if, if, you, if you don't have the grungy wood decorative uh, or uh, Enchanted Decorative Edge version, then you just want to print the matte which is in the foundations in the grungy wood. So page 34A, uh, so if, if this was the foundations, not the decorative edge, you want that matte. So you could print two. So I, you need one for the front and one for the back. So there's where I messed up. So this should have been printed plain. So it should have just been plain uh, like that and matte both sides. I don't know what I was thinking when I printed this off, but anywho's. 
There it is. So there's my mistake. And then I traced the mat for this. It's going to be like this. This is also something di different from the prototype. I couldn't find the paper, or a big enough piece of the paper that I used before. So this is just from, traced from a scrap that was like the wood design. All right, so that's, that's it. That's all I have printed other than photo mats. One of the first things I'm going to do is... I'm going to put tape on the back side of this. I'm going to put tape and then we're going to glue it. We're not going to glue it down yet, but then we'll glue it in order to, um, we'll add liquid glue in, in order to attach it down to the cover. So this is, this is three eighths inch score tape. It's linked in the Amazon list for this project. So I'm going to tab these corners and we're going to attach, I'm going to tab all of these pages before we start attaching anything down. I need to clean my scissors so bad. We're just doing, we're just mitering the corners. What did I call it? What did I say? Tab the corners? I don't know why I said that. Is that right? That could be right. Miter, tab, whatever. So we got 17 BD and then we've got the graceful doors that we are doing that, that we're working with right now. And I think what I'll do is, I'm gonna mark the center. Right at the top and bottom, I'm gonna mark the center. And I'm going to mark the center of these as well. And we'll erase them. We'll erase them when we are done attaching. What did it, there it is. All right, so I'm going to take the tape backing off. I'll line that up with the center mark. Flip this around. Line that up. Yeah, you won't be able to see the other ones. Okay. So then I'm going to take the doors here and we are going to attach them down. down right Right. So the next thing I want to do is I need to start, I want to do magnets because we're going to need them to hold the, loot, the, the uh, floating front pocket on. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and mark everything up so that I know exactly where everything goes. like this too. It's just good to have everything marked, you know, so that you know where everything is. <laughs> and all of this is going to be covered up anyway with mats. Okay, so I am going to grab this piece here because this is going to be here. It's going to be right smack in the middle. And it actually looks pretty good. Well, I'm impressed with myself. So I'm going to mark it like this. At least I got one marked before I accidentally moved it. Hang on. I'm just trying to make it easier for myself when it comes to the magnets. That's all. So if I have everything marked as best I can anyway, it should be easy to figure out exactly where I need my magnets placed. Normally. I think what we'll do so maybe we can do one here one here one here one here do you think that would be enough Alright, I think this is where we're going to start, so I don't think, <coughs> excuse me, I don't think there's anything on the cover that I have to worry about. Nope, okay. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start here, and I'm going to put glue dots right over top of the marks I made. We're gonna put magnets. I'm not even sure I'm gonna need magnets there. I might just be able to get away with magnets. Oops. 
So what we'll do, I think, is I'm going to go ahead and mat this with the mats that I have prepped and ready, like this. We'll come back to the magnets. Yep, 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 yep. So I'm going to take fabri -Tac that I put in this Sugar Bell bottle here. I'm going to put some around here. Oops, I did not trim that out well, you guys. Woo, that's a terrible job. That's okay. It happens, it happens. It happens to me a lot. I just, you know, I want sometimes when I prep for videos, I just, I do it so late in the day that I, I guess I'm just tired. I don't know, but I sometimes don't, don't cut out the papers very well. <laughs> Oops. So then what I want to do is I want to transfer the magnets from here to here. So I'm going to take another set of magnets. I have my magnet stuff linked down below, you guys, if you uh, want to check it out. I know this is a lot of magnets, but if you buy them in bulk, you get a much better deal than if you didn't. I think I'm gonna open that part up and oh that's not gonna do me any favors is it shoot whoops Missed the mark. Okay. So I'm gonna lay that. I'm gonna match up my marks there and pick up those two. Open it up. So now I am going to not mat that, but I am going to mat the inside of these here. All right, I just grabbed a, another piece. I don't know what I've done with all my cutoff pieces. It's like they've disappeared. So I'm going to do something before I mat the back of this. The, the floating pocket that's on there. I want to do something to the back mat. So I have these Stampers Anonymous numbers. Numeric CMS 161 it says. I don't know. I guess that's the name of it. And I've mounted them on the block like this because I want to uh, stamp them onto some cardstock and use them. I always like to add the year to my albums. And um if I can't take this out and the, this stamp set is still available and it's linked in my Amazon list so if you want to get your hands on it I, I love this stamp set I love the way these um, numbers are I love the font I guess so I'm trying to make sure this gets covered completely Stamp 
Oh, it's pretty good. I'll clean that off later. So what I think I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna start. The, I'm gonna st first, I'm gonna fussy cut. I'm gonna fussy cut this out as a whole, and see if that's what I want. It probably is. So let me just cut that away there. So I'm just gonna go around like this and give it just a, a little bit of a blur. Got a little close to that edge over there, but that's okay. So here's my thinking. So there's the mat for the back of the floating, this floating pocket. It's going to be back here. So I wanted to put the date, just stamp the 23 back here. But I can't decide if I want it to be like this, because I'm actually going to have it like coming off each, you know, the top and the bottom like that. I want to have it like that or if I want to cut them into two separate ones. So I think I'm going to cut them into two separate ones. Okay. So I'm just going to go through here. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to do something like this, but I want to put something there. Holy smokes, what just happened? Oh my goodness. Maybe I could use something like that. I don't know if that goes anywhere else, but today it's not going to. So this one was cut out from the paper pad. So I think... It's too big. It's too big. It's too big. Okay. Let me, let me find something else. That one's just too big. Maybe I can find... Hold on. Aha! Do I have this sheet somewhere else that I just didn't cut everything out? Hang on. I think I did, but maybe I cut them all out. Hmm. Yeah, because I want one of these smaller ones. That's what I want. So. Let me fussy, fussy cut this one out. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got this fussy cut out. And I've got my two numbers here. Even though I'm not really thrilled about the way I fussy cut them out, I'm just going to go with it. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to like layer these a little bit or try to somehow kind of intertwine them a little bit. Okay, there's, there's one. See how it's kind of like interwoven? I think you just need to play with it until you like, till you like it. I mean, that's the only thing I can think to do. So I'm going to tack this down just so it doesn't move on me. So it's going to go kind of like this. So now I need to figure out what to do with my three. Maybe something like this. Yep. We're just going with it. Whether it looks nice or not, we're just going with it. stick it in the corner kind of like this 
So I'm going to glue it down and then we'll trim off the excess. So then I'm going to flip it over to the back here and I'm going to trim off the stuff that's overhanging like that and ink those edges up. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to have that. on the back side of this floating pocket. So we're gonna go ahead and attach this down now. All right, next thing I wanna do is I want to mat this here. Actually, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue these so that it can be drying for a little bit. I'm going to just tack these two sides down just a little bit. Because I want them to dry before we do the insert that's going to go in this little floating pocket. Now I'm going to grab, this is the Baker's twine. The golden white Baker's twine. around three times. And I am going to tape it down here in the middle. Cut this away. that down in the middle scooch it out just a little bit okay and I'm gonna glue this down to this part right here I'll make sure I get all of these All of the baker's twine here. So now I'm going to take a embellishment. I'm going to take one of the gold chippies that we did and I'm also going to take one of the large embellishment pieces. This was one of the embellishment pieces from the collection and I'm going to give that a little bit of ink. So this is one of the ones that was already die cut. And I think I'm going to put it right here. Get up. I 
And then this is going to go across here like that. I'm going to tack this down, then I'm going to put some weight on it, just so that it won't keep popping up like that. I not have any glue under there. Let me just get some glue under that side, under this side. And I'm going to put the tape dispenser on it, I think. Yep. I'm going to set this aside. <laughs> And then it's the insert. Let's do the insert. So we are going to attach these pieces down and the, let's do these, let's tab these, these as well. So these are 13A, one's a leftover piece. Oops, I just flung paper across the way. And one we printed, so 13A for both. And let's just attach them down. One on one side and one on the other. So I think what I'll do is I am going to mat, let's see, I'm going to mat some of these. So this piece here is going to go here. Okay. So what I'm thinking I'm doing here is I'm going to put this here, but I also need another embellishment, like die cut embellishment thingy, my bob. Is this is it. I think this is it. And I kind of want it to go kind of like this. And I think too, I think I'll leave it to where it could be tucked. So if you wanted to tuck something under there, you could. So I'm going to stick glue on there and down here and maybe a little bit here. <laughs> Then I'm going to flip this over and trim it off. Like that. Oh, I forgot. I was going to do the foil, the corners, the, the um, photo corner things on this one as well. Shoot. Well. Maybe I can maybe I 
can do it after the fact here. I'm going to glue this down. What if I took them off here like that? And took the sticker backing off. Then we can just glue them down. That'll work. That way we still get the look, even though it's not going to be, well, it's not going to be removable anyway. This one's not removable, so. looks pretty good. That was a good save. One of the things that I noticed from my prototype is this insert, which is going, where's my thing? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> which is going, sorry about you, which is going in here almost always falls. So, I was going to see if I could maybe put just a magnet just to keep it stable, you know? So what I'm going to do, before I mat that, I'm going to stick a magnet right there, put a glue dot on it. Hang on, I'm going to stick this back in here. We're not done yet. We still have a, another couple things to do, but stick this back in here like this. And then I'm going to stick the magnet back where, it's, where it goes and stick it down. So that should keep it from falling out. So, yeah, I think it did, yeah. Okay, one more thing to do besides that we need to do some photo mats is I'm going to do a wax seal here, but I need to prep a couple keys, so let me grab them. And I'm going to I'm going to melt some wax while I'm prepping my keys. I'm going to grab Oh, you guys, I did. I cut a groove. You're not going to be able to see, but I cut a groove right here. So the I don't, get, I don't know if you can see it better that way. I'll scooch you in. Whoop, I'll try to scooch you in. See, there's like a groove here. I don't know if you can see it. I just took a knife and I just kind of scraped. And then I'd get it wet because it is salt. You know, I'd get it wet and then I'd scrape, scrape, scrape. So that will now fit there without, with a little bit more stable, I guess. I'm going to do four beads this time. And 
And for these, I'm going to cut a piece of the Baker's Twine. Yeah, this is not the best. It comes unraveled so easily. I'm going to run it through the little hole on the little mini keys that I've got. Not the big keys, but the mini keys. And I got, one, you know, just ran it through once, and now I'm just going to tie a knot like this. So there's one. And then I'm going to do the same for this other one. Right, so there's just one strand, one layer, one bit going through the hole. Then I'm just going to tie a little overhand knot here. I hope you can see because I got you super close. Okay, let me scoot you out just a little bit. You may not have saw all that. I'm sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay these on here. Kind of like this. Actually, I'm going to open this up first. Grab this. I'll lay them on there like that. Let me grab the B. I'm going to put the B on here, and I'm going to pour the wax right here. Well, I'm going to try to pour the wax right here. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Okay, here we go. Oh Lord, look what it did. It messed up. I'm just, obviously I'm doing, I'm, I think I'm letting it fall back instead of letting it go straight down. Either way, I think that's fine, <laughs> but you can always take it off and do it again if you want. That's what it looks like on the back side, but you can always take it off and do it again if you so want. Alright, ouch, that was hot. I'm going to cut these strings a little bit. I don't know if I want them to be perfect. Okay, so now we've got that, which is super cute. We are going to do the mat. So what I've done is i printed... Some five by seven mats. These are just on 28 pound paper. I am going. I'm going to erase the number here. So I am going to glue these down. So these are five by seven from the Photo Mats Essentials, and I just printed them onto paper. You could put them on a cardstock if you want. I've just gotten into a habit of mostly printing my mats on my photo mats on paper just because you're supposed to put a photo over top of it so that way it doesn't create an extra layer for for no reason and then i know the magnet's going to show through shoot well it's not too terrible i'm just going to leave it you could put another piece of paper over top or use a cardstock mat on the back side but I'm just going to leave it. It's not too terrible, right? 
Not too bad. <laughs> you can see it just barely, but it's not too bad. Okay, so that's that. And then this goes in here. So it kind of looks like that. It's kind of neat, right? All right, so let me do the photo mats in here now. I'm going to erase all these lines because, believe it or not, the photo mats are printed on the paper, so it's going to show through. I've got to find my eraser. All right. So I'm pretty sure these do not need magnets to stay down because of the magnets from the doors, but I printed the 4 by 6 photo mats. I printed two pages of them uh, onto 28 pound paper, and I've already stamped them, of course, with my, my stamp. So I'm just going to glue these down really quick. Okay, so then that closes there, that closes there, and before we, before we put everything together, let's attach this down to the covers. So there is our album cover, and remember we put tape on the back side here, so we're going to remove the tape backing. And I'm going to put glue where the tape is not liquid glue where the tape is not. Let's just line this up. I think I got it on there straight. Straight enough. Okay. I don't have any inserts for in there uh, prepared and I'm not really sure we have any anyway for that, but there is the finished front cover. Wow, that looks so cool, All right? And now that, now we can open this without this falling off, because in my prototype, that falls off every single time. So, all right, that is all I have prepped for you guys. Let me know what you think. Did you like this? Do you like this cover? Do you like the interactiveness of this cover? There's so many little things going on here. It's just really, 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 really a fun cover, I think, in my opinion. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And thanks so much for joining me today, you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.